What's up guys, Sean here. Um, so back in summer 2015, when I first realized that the um, things were changing like on a massive scale where thousands upon thousands of people were starting to see these like these changes where the what they remembered experiencing in the past is no longer relevant and actually is completely different and there's no evidence of the original stuff. So anyway, so from the very beginning, I had a very strong intuitive understanding that Mandela Effect is not a new experience to this reality. In fact, it is normal. One of, uh, I have a video, uh, I'm going to link it below. It's uh, 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 one, of, uh, one of my first videos that I did of a longer nature. It was a longer type video. Longer for me is like, you know, 25 minutes or something. But anyway. Um, it's uh, do you really want to know what's causing the Mandela effect? And it has to. Do, and I I talk about lucid dreaming um, as an as a profoundly accurate uh, uh, correlation to what's uh, occurring in our physical reality and how this dream it has many similarities to what you would call a dream when you're sleeping at night. So anyway, so from so so from very early on. I strongly felt and, 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 and understood that this is not new. The difference is that human beings became more able to perceive the changes. It's not that the changes... So, in other words, the Baron Steen Bears changing to the Baron Stain Bears, there could have been 50 different spellings and for the first 49 out of the 50 changes where reality just warps and all of a sudden everything changes and the Baron Stoon Bears and the Baron Stuckel Bears and any crazy stupid sound you want to say, bears, and everybody buys it hook, line, and sinker. Like, oh, of course it's always been that way. And then it changes. Oh, of course it's always been that way. A massive amnesia. We're becoming lucid and now we're catching the changes. As reality shifts, all of a sudden, more uh, enough people on the earth are able to perceive and become aware that it's changed, and now it's like a visceral experience for them. Anyway, so this Reddit user, um, Telly Gaga, says, does anyone feel like the number of alternate realities are increasing? Or maybe that we are becoming more and more aware of each Mandela effect as each day passes. I stumbled upon the Mandela effect existing about two years ago or so, maybe longer. Time is weird. When I first found it, I was really, not, I was not really using Reddit much and was unaware this community existed. Uh, I think I first saw it on a BuzzFeed article or something like that. I remember being really intrigued and confused by it, and also being as curious as I am. I wanted to find more examples of this happening. Now, maybe this is just because I was unaware of this Reddit, but I feel like in the last month or so, I am searching and finding more and more of these each day. When I first discovered this, there was only a handful of really popular ones, Sinbad, Shazam, Luke, I am your father, Berenstein, Berenstein, Bears, and now when I do a Google search, hundreds of different ones pop up in, a different, in different articles and the like. What is everyone's thoughts on this? Does anyone else feel like the number of changes are increasing rapidly? I feel like every couple of days or so, I am finding new ones on here that I am that I remember existing in a way that does not exist today. Edit. I meant our awareness of alternate realities increasing, not the amount of realities increasing. That's the key. The more people are gaining the awareness to be able to perceive the differences. We're on the cusp of shifting to a different, a different overall reality. My simplified explanation is world peace, the world peace timeline. But yes, the ascension is a more, a more uh, accurate description, in my opinion, the ascension. World peace is a given <laughs> when you're referring to ascension. Um, but anyway, yes, so uh, just a little food for thought.